Good evening, everybody. It's Fiona Hooper here, feeling slightly sombre at the moment with the recent events with the death of Queen Elizabeth. But um, we have another show for you this evening, which is a, a lovely show because it's got Kim Noyce all the way from Australia. And we actually recorded this on Sunday. So I will get on with the show now. Um, welcome everybody who's watching. Brilliant to have you on board. And please still make comments and ask questions. And I will be watching the comments and replying during the show. And obviously we will, um, Kim and myself, both watch, uh, look for comments after the show and reply to them as soon as we can as well. So welcome everybody. And without more ado, let me get the video on the screen. Enjoy. Hi, Kim. How are you? Hi, Fiona. I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. Thanks so much for coming on the show this week. It's been way too long since you were on last time. Uh, we could have a private chuckle about that one, but we won't do in public. So, <laughs> so thank you it's so much. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Fiona? It, it has, has been a while. It has been a yeah. long time. And just, oh, well, okay, let's just fess up. Some idiot <laughs> forgot to record the Zoom meeting last time we did the show. So, but we are recording now and hopefully everyone will be able to enjoy your wonderful poem this time. You and know what? I think it, I think it's just a good for a laugh. We all do it, Fiona, and we've all been there, done that. And we will definitely have a good laugh about it down the track. You know, a good practice run, good <laughs> rest rehearsal. <laughs> Absolutely. Put a positive spin on it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, but so, seriously, sorry. Well, seriously hmm. thank you so much for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. And with a beautiful poem, I already have had the privilege of hearing it once and I will be hearing it again. And it's, yes. it's actually not about either of these paintings. It's about a painting that sold a while ago that just um, seemed to oh. grab your attention, Kim, I think, didn't it, this one? It so. did. You've sold that one. I didn't realise yeah. you'd sold that one. I can see why, because I, I was definitely drawn to that one straight away. They're all beautiful, of course, but, yeah, that one just was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So shall I share the painting and then yes. you can maybe tell us what it meant to you and read your wonderful poem and we have a, okay. a good old chin wag. How's that We sound? can, we can, we're good at that. <laughs> we are. <laughs> no right. worries. Bear yeah. with me, let's put the painting on the screen. There we are. So this, there it is. Yeah. yeah. So I called it Autumn Mist and um, your poem is yeah. called Something Different, which is a very appropriate title for the poem and yeah. very appropriate for the painting as well, actually. So yeah mm. brilliant so i will hand over to you now to um tell us what it said to you and mm -hmm. yeah hear your poem no worries yeah well like i said you, you normally send me a few paintings and the, the one that i'm drawn to is the one you know i i choose to write a poem about but this particular one as soon as i saw it i was just drawn to the light and the reflections um just stunning it reminds me a lot of the hiking that we do as well here in Australia with the, the light upon the water coming through the trees and and straight away I, I thought of autumn so without even reading the title that you named it autumn autumn mist was it sorry yes. um yes. yes yeah so um it just to me it speaks of autumn the colors in there um we don't really get um, a definite autumn like you do in the UK here. The leaves don't mm. turn and change all different colours. So um, when I come to the UK, um, we came in autumn and it was magical, yeah. like all the different colours on the, the leaves on the trees. Yeah, so um, that's what spoke to me. Um, so I started to write the poem um, one day. I wrote two pages and I just wanted to, I actually thought, you know what, I'm just going to keep this poem sort of a bit more short and sweet you know, tell all about the beautiful painting. And I put it aside at night, I went to bed, woke up in the morning and my husband had sent me a message saying the queen has just died. And I'm like, it just really hit me with a bang. And um, yeah, that's sort of what inspired um, the second half of the, the poem really, just about uh, life and love and loss. Um, it came into my poem. It had to tell a story. So I'm not saying it's about the Queen, but just the emotion of, you know, loving somebody and losing them and reflections on the water. So that's sort of what inspired yeah. my yes. poem and your painting, of course. So, <laughs> yeah. 
So um, I've called the poem Reflections because obviously, like I said, Reflections on the Water. So would you like me to go ahead and read it? Or I would love you to, yeah. Kim. Thank you. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so Reflections. Misty autumn morning, light reflections softly shimmer upon the water, stirring my soul, awaking, awakening the spirits of yesterday as golden hues stream through the branches of the tall trees, kissing the water and warming my face. Yes, the seasons are now turning once again, my love, from blue skies to hazel, as two of the silver streaks now fading, my raven hair grey. The more covered landscape now painted flaxen, forever changing and evolving, speaks a beautiful love story, as do the lines now mercilessly, which I can never pronounce, I'm sorry, but it goes well in there, mercilessly gracing my face. It's a peaceful silence as the clouds shift and change, the morning sun shining her light upon the boughs and the branches of the forest as dawn slowly breaks, turning the leaves a magical mix of kaleidoscope colours from green to red, orange, purple and brown. The sturdy tree trunks stand proudly awaiting the west winds to scatter nature's carpet upon the earth's sodden ground. Ah yes, I exclaim inhaling deeply as the soft breeze hauntingly whispers my name. I shut my eyes for a moment knowing too soon your voice will be fading along with the fog that's now lifting over the ridge top as the songbird softly twitters her sweet refrain. Thank you. I fervently pray to the heavens for the gift of this morning and the promise of what a new day brings. And thank you for the memories I whisper to the mirrored reflection when it's your face I see instead smiling back at me. Timeless, never aging, causing my mind once again to wander back to the endless summers we spent together here by the water laughing and loving, somehow thinking we had forever. Yes, many years have come and gone, my love. The children have all grown and now moved away. But as I sit by the lake, watching the golden glow shimmer softly on the surface, well, time stands still, if just for a moment. And I'm right here with you, safely wrapped in your arms once again. But there's no rhyme or reason as to why the fate said it was time for you to leave us. I've just had to flow with the seasons and weather the rain. But I promise, my love, I will keep on returning to our endless summer sunset and misty autumn mornings when the dew's on the ground and the leaves are still turning till the winds of change, change carry me safely back home to stay. Oh, that is just that, so beautiful, Kim. <laughs> it really is. Thank you. Um, you made it easy to write a beautiful poem. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank so, um, you so yeah, much. I, yeah, it, I did enjoy it. Just yeah. the, you know, the way that you've you filled it with such wonderful emotion and, and concentrating on the memories, not just yeah. the loss, but the memories and all the good times. And and yeah. let's hope that dear old Queenie is now with Prince Philip and reunited which would be wonderful wouldn't it so, I like to think she is I like yeah, to think so yeah. she deserves to be they deserve to be together Absolutely. yeah so that's sort of what brought that about I think <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let, let me just take the picture off the screen so we can see that. okay so, yeah yeah I mean just it wasn't totally unexpected I suppose but it was still too yeah. soon and just such sad news and I think it's just taken us all you know just shocked us all really hasn't it you know because it was yeah. Tuesday, Tuesday greeting the new prime minister Liz Truss shaking her hand Thursday yeah. night gone just yeah um, yeah so very, I think that's the sad. thing like you said I, I remember seeing it on the news here that she did um greet the new prime minister mm. so I think you thought nothing about her passing you know like because yeah there she was and then to wake up and find that she's gone but um as sad as the loss is I mean I think she went I know you know she went in quite a peaceful way in her yes. you know her favorite place and surrounded by people that loved her mm -hmm. um and like you say I think she probably is is with Philip um in that place yeah. where she deserves to be you know she's she's worked hard right to the end oh, absolutely so, <laughs> absolutely yeah and, and I think it was it was the best way for her because mm. you know she's she was that sort of woman she hated having to you know 
not fulfill engagements recently. So if she'd have been confined to bed or something, I think that would have just been, you know, horrible. Horrible yeah. for her. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, for her, it was a, a, a good end. Dignified, so, a dignified yes. Yes. way. Yes, exactly. I think we could all hope for that, you know, mm, <laughs> when our time comes, that it would be as peaceful as that. Yeah. So, yeah. Quick, that's, quick that's and peaceful. Hard. It's far better for the person yeah. who's gone. It's sometimes a huge shock and, and that for the people that left. But I think then you have to, comfort yourself with the fact that for them it was yeah. the best ending and they didn't suffer long lingering painful you know last months or years so yeah so totally it's very agree. sad but I think like mm. with your poem we need yeah. to focus on all the wonderful things that she did how she was such a yeah. fantastic ambassador for the country and for the yeah. commonwealth and mm -hmm. you know uh, just giving so much giving her whole life basically she um, did she kept yeah. that oath didn't she I know they keep replaying that you know when she did give that oath in the beginning yes. but she meant every word she yeah. totally devoted herself Absolutely. to her work so yes. yeah yeah and um yeah I, yeah amazing woman I, I totally have yeah. a lot of respect for her so yeah. Charles, Charles does have very big shoes to fill but um <laughs> he does he yeah. does um, yeah let's I wish him all the very best. I hope he manages to do that. It's a, you know, yeah. it's a lot to live up to after after his mum. So, mm. yeah, but all the but very know best what? to him. Yeah, I think, you know, like I, I did watch his, um, his speech, his first speech that he gave, and um, mm. I did find him very sincere and... Um, it was heartfelt. It was from yes. the heart, I felt like it was. So there's a yes. bit of softness in there, the way he gave his speech and he sort of gave reference, you know, to, to his wife and, and to his dear mama and papa, as he calls them. And um, I just think it was really genuine. And, mm. yeah, Absolutely. So, yeah. And to, mm. to have to do that at such a, a time, you know, such an emotional time of grief for him where mm. most people would be, just leave me alone. I just need to be. Just want to you know, hide left. and, you know, yeah. Yeah. Hide yeah. away and grieve. And, and he's had to be such high profile straight away, you know, it's, it's yeah. um, amazing. Doing a Great good respect. job. They all are, really, aren't they? Yes. They all are. Yes. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, mm. Certainly send my best wishes to all of them. And, and I'm sure everybody watching will be doing the same, hopefully. So. Most definitely. Um, I know that we're having a special day, a Memorial Day here, a public holiday um for the queen's memorial so yeah. i think that's yeah. a really nice gesture that we we get, get to focus on that for the day yeah. you know because yes. everybody's feeling it like even if you're not a royalist as they say yeah. um it's still affecting people who aren't over yeah. here so yeah. it's affected yeah. a lot of people who weren't expecting to feel that sort of emotion when she passed no. away so no. I mean, yeah. I I've never met her or never spoken to her, but it's still mm. like she's been there all our lives as forever. Queen. Forever. It feels like forever. Yeah. 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 And, and that was the one constant with everything else. You know, she was the constant there. And yeah. So mm. thank the you. Backbone, very much, the backbone. The backbone, definitely. Yeah. 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 So yeah. she'll be very fondly remembered and she will you know, be with a lot of respect and love. So yeah most brilliant. definitely <clears throat> so what mm. else have you been up to kim have you um have you been doing some more painting i know you posted a photograph of a wonderful painting that you did in your new that venture was my into apple. Oil. <laughs> yes. yes well look the truth be known um i really haven't painted before i mean i've done a lot of sketching and and drawing um, and my husband gifted me um, a gift certificate, oh goodness, back at the start of the pandemic and um, he knew that I wanted to do some painting. Mm -hmm. But then it, it just came about, it wasn't the right time um, for me So with my health and everything. So I postponed it and then that class got cancelled and the lovely lady from the centre rang me and said, we have an oil, what is it, a foundation in oils class coming up and you don't need to have painted before, it's okay, like come in and do it. And so I did. And um, yeah, I learn, it, learn an awful lot. Um, the foundations, like the, the basics of, you know, you're mixing the colours. I did the colour wheel. 
um, learning to blend the oils and use the different brushes. And I know that you yeah. use um, you use the knives, so I'm really mm. interested to learn to yeah. use the knives because your paintings are amazing. Yeah, but um, I do have my apple. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so let's show you my show apple. Uh, just Kim, you yeah. I know you are proud of it and you should write I'm very me proud of my very apple. Because that yeah. your first oil painting is just mm. amazing. You have done well, really, you. really well. I love it. So I am very you know, proud of I'm it. I'm expecting <laughs> wonderful things from you. Uh, which is not putting any pressure on. It's just that that's no what pressure. I, what I, <laughs> no, it's just that I feel that you will progress yeah. with your painting and do some wonderful painting with your love of nature as well and everything yeah. else I just think it's yeah watch this space folks so uh, <laughs> by the way, thanks everybody for watching by the way I didn't say that yet yeah. so um, <laughs> yeah thank you everybody yeah, yeah yeah I would love to do landscapes like you do um <clears throat> mountains and forests and my rainforests over here so I would yeah. love to to do oils in that and I even wouldn't mind trying the watercolors so that's a totally different very way different. Of yes. Yeah. yeah. Very you, different. You, what do you think of watercolors? Have Have you obviously tried them? I would say. Yes, I. Yeah. Quite, I like watercolor. I like using it in more in a sort of splashy type of way. If I'm out sketching. Yeah. Um, okay. If I see a, a good watercolor, it yeah, absolutely superb. Mm -hmm. It's it just doesn't for me have the same attraction as oil painting though. I just love right. the feel of the paint and. Yeah even the smell of it and just the way that it handles and what I can do with it. Right, um, okay. But it's, it's certainly a good idea when you're, you know, you're still quite new to painting to try different mediums because mm. you may just find that one unexpectedly becomes your favourite. You know, you may, exactly. you know, if you try watercolour, there's acrylics, pastels, mm -hmm. you've got soft pastels and oil pastels, encaustic yeah. wax, mixed media. There are so yeah. many different you know, styles way to paint and, out there. and yeah, mm. styles, you've got the different mediums, you've got yeah. and also different supports. So if you paint mm. on with if you're using watercolor, for example, there are so mm. many different papers, some might suit you and some yeah. will not. And right. So that's okay. very important. If you if you try it and you think, oh, this is rubbish, I can't work with this, try mm -hmm. a different paper, for example. Right. Um, okay. With oil colors. I normally paint on stretched canvas, so it's got um, like this one here. It's got a bit of sort of spring to the yes. to the yeah. canvas, mm -hmm. um, but you can also paint on boards, either canvas yeah. covered but still yeah. it's solid, the board. yeah, or primed board, and that gives a very different feel to painting. It's very much. Um, I find I can't move with the knife. I can't move the paint around as much on a board as I do on a stretched canvas. Ah, um, but if okay. you're working with brushes, it's I don't I don't find there's such a difference there when if I'm working with brushes. Um, oh, but because you're using the knives, it's mm, a different yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. And of course you but, can use other things like old credit cards, you can cut them to different shapes and sizes. You can use those to put paint on or scratch lines into the paint or scrape paint yeah. off and you, know, you can you, use you, use you your see, imagination. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And even with watercolour, there are different things that you can use for certain effects, like you can use right. cling film. So you can put okay. some paint down, crumple up cling film, put it on top. And as it dries, it gives yeah. that crinkled pattern in the paint. Oh, so, that's how they do that. Yeah, yes, I do know what you're yeah. talking about. So, ah. so many different ways of using each different type of medium. And then you can combine mediums as well. Watercolour, you can add pastel on top or... You can use acrylics on top of watercolour. You can use oils on top of acrylics, but you can't use acrylics and things on top of oils because ah, right. the water-based mediums yeah. won't adhere properly to the oil surface. Right. So you can have acrylic and put the oil on top, but not the yes. other way around. Okay. Mm. Ah, that's, yeah. Yes, so, okay. Something just to bear in mind, you know. Yeah, but I can learn a lot. Adventures. I can learn a lot from you. That's what I... I um. You know, they have a lot of guest artists come in and do demonstrations. And yeah. um, I think that's where you just learn so much by watching yeah. different artists with their Absolutely. techniques. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I'd be very fascinated to see you do your paintings with your knives. Ah, yeah. Well, actually, on that mm. subject, 
Um, I have got some things on my YouTube channel showing me painting oh. with knives. Some are, some, I oh, think okay. I've got a couple that are real time, but others are sped up. So you haven't got to watch, sit and watch paint dry, preferably. Um, you can see right. a, pro, a painting progress from start to yeah. finish in about two minutes because it's all been squished into that little time frame. So, well, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going that. to check that out. Most definitely. I did not know that was there. So yeah. I will be checking that out for sure. And I'm, yeah, I'm going to be adding more onto there as well with more actual painting demos as well. So keep an eye on the YouTube channel, Fiona Hooper Artist. And, no, uh, definitely. I will. Yeah. So when when you film that, you're doing it in real time, obviously, but you're just sort of speeding up the process so people yes. can see it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can either okay. you can either film it in time lapse, which yeah. just takes you know one shot every however many seconds you set it to be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And then it just shows those time lapses all together, or you can okay. film it in real time, and then yeah. play it fast. So right. if you want to look at a part of it. In real time, you've still got that film. I but you can you. also yeah. show it much more, you know, speed it up mm. so that people don't have to sit through the whole thing if they just want to have a quick look and see it start, progress, and finish in, in a very short time frame. I so. would definitely check that out because I have um, watched quite a few of those. I know on Instagram, because um, I'm a bit of an Instagrammer, so yeah. um, there's a lot of reels happening now, which, you know, I, I do mm. like reels, but they're overpowered at the moment. Yeah. But um, I, there's a lot of artists mm -hmm. who do go on there. I think I think I might have seen you do a couple of things on the Instagram. I think I might have done as well. Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. So they, a lot of them do go on there and show quick little, that looks very quick, but, um, yeah, I, you pick up a lot just by watching their different techniques and how they, they do things. I love yeah. it. I love to watch. I think yeah. watching and learning, that's, well, that is how oh, you learn. Absolutely. Yeah. And in yeah. fact, if anyone goes on this week, uh, mm -hmm. because on Sunday the 11th, we, we're doing yeah. a, a, a YouTube live premiere and there oh. are eight artists and you have to watch the start video and then watch each video. Now, if you mm -hmm. do that with each yeah. artist, and it runs until um, it closes at the end of September the 18th. So you've got okay. the rest of the week after this show to go on and yeah. watch these. You stand mm -hmm. to win a £50 voucher for one of the artists who put okay. towards some of their work. Yeah. Um, but there's also an amazing £400 grand Ooh. prize, which you could use for, okay. for a painting, including shipping, or a work wow. of art from any of the artists, you choose which one's your favorite. Mm -hmm. Or if, if you didn't want the, the painting or work of art that's been allocated to include the shipping and everything at that yeah. price, you could always use that money to put it towards, you know, a, a more expensive painting or okay. whatever you choose to do. So wow. So after that's this show, good incentive. Yes. yeah, just <laughs> hop on over to my YouTube yeah. channel. You'll see the links there. And yes. for the grand prize, you just need to watch each video and there'll be a right. sort of hidden word in each one. And you have to make right. a note of it in order to make a phrase, okay. which yes. then the details are on there. Um, you'll need to just register it and, and enter on the Bloom's website, which is the online group of artists that's doing this. So, well, there you go. You you've definitely prices, you've dangled, you've dangled the carrot. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be yeah. I'll be heading over there. No, for sure. I definitely will check that out. And yeah. from your point of view, there are mm. eight videos by the you yeah. know one for each artist, and okay. most of them, or well, quite a few of them, are mm -hmm. actually demonstrating how they create their artwork as well. I so would love from your that. point of view. You yeah. um, you'll see Julie with encaustic wax, and then we've got. Okay. Um, we've got another Australian artist who do, does oh. watercolour. You can see some watercolour okay. in, in quick mm -hmm. time and um, yeah. my oil painting in quick time and so on. So something for everybody I, on there. I will yeah. definitely check that out. Yes, thank you for mentioning that. Most yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm I'm looking forward to seeing a landscape from you as well, with your love of nature and your all your oh. hiking and all of these wonderful places you go to. You must have such. A I am store. looking forward to seeing um, it too. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fantastic. No, I'm I'm looking forward to um 
Yeah, so I look at my I look at my um, mainly my rainforest photos. That's where we hike the most in the mm. rainforest, and just picturing them um, as a painting. I've actually got this app on my phone that I downloaded, oh, that, and, it, and it, you know it turns the the photo into a it looks like a painting, you know, yeah, and I can see. Yeah. I can see like the strokes and everything. I'm like, oh yeah, I could paint it like that, you know. So yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to doing that. Mm. Use it as inspiration. Had, That's good. Excellent. Yeah. No, I had started a landscape which I haven't finished as yet. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to doing a beautiful landscape like like your landscapes that you do um yours will be different though and that's good they will be different They'll they be will yours. be different yeah rainforests are definitely a different sort of forest so mm. you know lots yeah. of vines and ferns lots of green they're very green so um yeah they, they will be different so yeah and the thing is you know because you've hiked through them so many times and mm. Um, you sort of know the shape of the leaves and um, just the way things fall and the vines, the way mm. they twist and turn. Um, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to yeah, sink my teeth into that. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Uh, I know um, we touched briefly on the, my book before, but, um, which yeah. is sadly being a bit delayed, but it will happen. Yeah. It will get there. It will happen. Mm. You will get there. It will happen. Yeah. yeah. And it, it's interesting that my book is about my paintings with poetry by myself and other poets. Yeah. And yeah. your book is your poetry. And you're yeah. planning to have artwork by different artists to go with your poetry. Yeah. So yeah. it's like the, Most, the sort of... The other way around, yeah. sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah maybe with a painting of mine in there um yeah. but yeah I, I like to um I love all lots of different art styles I mean I'm not just connected to just nature photos I love a lot of um obviously I love a lot of this sort of photos that keeps popping up you know if you put something into your Instagram or you watch something enough all those things keep coming up yes. all the time yeah so at the moment <laughs> All that keeps popping up is these pictures of ladies and they're very bright and often they'll have butterflies or flowers all in their hair or incorporated yeah. in the photo. So I'm not quite sure what style you would call that, but it's very mm. vibrant and um, beautiful. I find that really beautiful. But then I can look at a landscape and that's beautiful. But, um, yeah, yeah, many, so, many different styles. So, yeah, I want to collect a whole lot of different um, <coughs> styles of painting sorry to go with um my poems yeah and have you got a <coughs> sorry <coughs> yeah that's okay uh, yeah have you got a yeah. time scale for your book yet Kim as well I would like to bring it out at the latest by mid next year so I have to collect I've got the poems yeah <laughs> I just have to get more of the artwork so I have to source that and um yeah so yeah, I, that Excellent. is the latest. I don't want it to go any further than that. So I, <laughs> also halfway through a book, which has been going on since the pandemic. So I know it sounds like I start and stop things, but um, I don't know. All these things take a lot of time. You know, mm. painting takes time, writing takes time. <clears throat> yes, po poetry I find quite easy. Um, you know, you can start it and finish it quite quickly. So a book, on the other hand, is different. I don't know if you've ever tried to write a book, but um, <laughs> I, I just know, like, I think I'm up to about, I don't know, 87,000 words or something. And I'm wow. thinking, oh, my goodness, this book is not even, there's going to be a lot of editing. There's going to be a lot of, you know, um, scaling back and cutting out this and cutting out that. Um, but it's better to have too many words. You know, you mm. can always, you know, yes. cut it out. But if you don't, I've definitely got enough words. <laughs> so, <laughs> I write like I speak, you know, like it's even with my poetry, I've just got to go back and, okay, take that out, take that out. Because there's lots of words I try to fit in there. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But I, I'm enjoying the process. To me, that's Good. what it's about. Like I don't like, I don't think I'd be a good author where, where I get told, okay, you have to have this book out in three months and then the next one no 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 I'm not doing it for that I'm just doing it for myself mm, really yeah, um yeah. and I think just, with all of these things you have to do yeah. them 
when it's the right time for you you know unless it's a yeah. job obviously you have to do oh, it the right oh of course time for you, so, <laughs> of course yeah. yeah yeah i'm just enjoying the whole you know mm -hmm. experience of doing i've never done it before so um i do have plans in the future that i you know that to do with my writing that i can't talk about now but um you know i have i have a plan and, and goals coming up so Good. yeah Good. i'll let you know when when they happen absolutely yeah. and people yeah. keep watching kim's instagram <laughs> channel to keep up with all yeah. the developments i'm sure you'll post yeah. on there for us when I will. things happen so uh, most definitely yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Kim, I'm really sorry. We're getting to the end of our time now. Oh it's my goodness! Flow, I know, absolutely flown past so quickly. It's it has. amazing. So once again, thank you so much for coming back on the show. I really so much appreciate you giving up your time to do this for me and writing such a beautiful poem. Thanks everybody else for watching. Um, next week's show that is going to be postponed because I've got an art fair on the weekend. So I just need mm -hmm. that little bit of extra time to not panic and be able to get <laughs> ready. So, oh, Fair sorry. enough. So, well, good um, luck with your art show. I know that you go to quite a few much. of those. Yeah, yeah, I hope um, it all goes this, well. This one's a three day art fair weekend. Oh. So, um, so on the wow. 21st, there won't be a show, but I'll be back the following week. So okay. thanks everybody for watching. Thank you, Kim. And Thank take you, care, Fiona. everyone. Take care of yourself. Take care, Kim. And see, see you, you later. Soon. Come <laughs> bye back bye. soon. Thanks, Fiona. I will, okay. for sure. Bye bye. 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 bye.